here with Suffolk TV. We had a chance to stop by Tampa Microwave and we are here talking with Harry X. How are you doing? I'm doing great, thanks. Good, thank you for having us. It's good to be here. So how long have you been a part of Suffolk? Uh, well, I've been a part of Suffolk for many years as a, a former soldier, recently retiring. I, I think this is uh, number eight, I think, total. Uh, it's only the second one I've done as a vendor representative now. Okay. Tell me a little bit about Tampa Microwave. So Tampa Microwave makes what we call very small aperture terminal satellite terminals. In English, it's a real small satellite capable communication system. Okay. So obviously soldiers, airmen, and sailors end up in places where there's no communications infrastructure. So they'll pull out one of these terminals aim it at Mr. Satellite in the sky, and then they'll be able to do things like uh, run their phones, their computers, internet access, or their military network access. So there's got to be many different companies that make satellites. What, how do you stand out? Well, that's a great question because there certainly are a lot of different options that one could look at. Uh, I think there's two main things that really separate us uh, from the others. And the first is what we call SWAP, which is an acronym for size, weight, and power. So for the special operations community, size, weight, and power is always critically important. It can't be small enough, light enough, or use less power enough. So that's one of the things that we excel at. We have one of the smallest packages out there, and it uses the least amount of uh, power. So there's that. And then the second one is uh, our unique modularity. So lots of companies have a level of modularity. Ours is a bit different. And so where we're different is, uh, it doesn't matter what size aperture terminal that your mission requires. The electronics in our packages, they're the same. So the module you use for your modem in a 45 centimeter system is the same modem you can employ for your 1.3 meter system. So from our smallest to largest, it's gonna be the same modem that you need. Now whatever frequency band you need, XKA, KU, whatever you wanna use, it's the same transceiver module for a 45 centimeter all the way up to our biggest, a 1.3 meter. So there's a lot of flexibility in there. And another thing too is it's very easy to train your operators on how to use this. So you don't have to be a comm specialist to use our stuff, it's that simple. Wow. Yeah, to set up and program and you go on your way. That's so those so are the exciting. biggies. That's so exciting. Yeah, it's pretty neat, I'm very proud of that. So let's talk a little bit more about the modular design. How does it work with your customers? Are they able to solve problems? How does that work? Yeah, with, with our version of modularity, um, and because it's the same pieces and parts, uh, and using a soft mission as an example, uh, so say uh, one or two guys need to jump out of an airplane and go do a uh, low visibility mission, yeah. and it's only two guys. Uh -huh. So they'll take our smallest system and fits in that small backpack, and they'll go do that. Well, typically, it's not uncommon for them to change mission. So maybe the rest of the team comes forward. Another 10 guys or so will come forward. Okay. Well, 10 guys, more requirements. So now, instead of bringing a second complete satellite terminal system, all they have to do is bring an upgrade kit of larger, what we call pedals. That's the big uh, 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 aperture uh, things that you hook on there. Everything else is the same. So it's a big difference between bringing two terminals versus just one and an extra set of pedals. So it saves space, it saves time, it's easier to carry. Wow, that's wonderful. So what did you bring this year to Suffolk? So on the, the list of things that are new, uh, we have a couple of new modems that are about to be ready for production. They are the latest and greatest in modem technology. One is a Comtech 1050TS. Uh, I, I believe we're poised to be the first company to offer that new modem uh, for satellite terminals. And another is our iDirect 950. Uh, in the iDirect family of modems. And so, uh, ready to offer those to customers within the next couple of months. Do you see anything coming out for 2018? Uh, we do, so pulling that modularity thread even more, uh, we're looking at de uh, developing additional capabilities you typically don't see in a SATCOM terminal. So for example, this thing called Commercial Solutions for Classified is a way of bringing router capability and uh, tunneling capability, we're gonna put it in one of our modules that will snap in between our transceiver and modem. So we'll leverage that modularity, no cables, less power, so we're gonna sandwich it right in there. We're, we're getting ready to introduce that as well in the future. That's so exciting. It is. Part of the key is you really gotta understand the special operations mission sets 
And you know, when you do, then you work on these types of solutions uh, that will solve their problems in a smaller, lighter, less power fashion. And that's what we're about. Wow, that's so exciting. Well, thank you for being a part of Sophic, and uh, I'm excited to see what you bring next year. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks very much. Thank you. Stay tuned for more on Sophic TV.